Welcome to Helsinki, the USES, the European Union Contest for Young Scientists 2011. The capital of Finland hosts the 23rd edition of the contest, which takes place in a different city every year since 1989. USES brings together budding researchers and engineers for five days of competition, discoveries and fun. And have a wonderful time in Helsinki. All right, say cheese! This year, 134 girls and boys from 37 countries and one of the European schools will share their passion for science, research and innovation. In 22 years, the contest has received about 2,200 participants, including 30% of girls, and has awarded more than 500 prizes. But the contest is not only about competing for an award, it's also a chance for the young scientists to exchange ideas and find inspiration. It has been really nice to see how, how people in other countries, they have very similar thoughts and uh, their interests are also in the current topics that, so this is basically implying that the things we research are, are the same. If we could meet so much people with the same interests of the same age and we're friends with everybody now, so we exchange emails and experiences and it's really nice. With 87 projects, our scientists cover all fields of science, including math, chemistry, engineering or social sciences. The contestants learn to present their work to the public and question what they know, under the guidance of prominent scientists. It is the, the experience of presenting their work to, uh, in an international ambience, uh, the contact with other students, uh, and uh, I think that that's the most important. The Finnish winner of UCIS 2002 also keeps fond memories of the contest. Nine years later, he knows that winning was not the most important and that UCIS is unforgettable for all participants. Even the winning and the prize money and these things don't really compare to the experience of seeing all the other projects that the other people did. And especially after working very hard and hundreds of hours on my own project, then to go to the different contests, the national contest and especially the EU contest, seeing other people who had done similar things and all the interesting things they had done was the best part by far. Every day, the UCS team organizes games and challenges. The young scientists use their creativity to solve problems together. Today, for example, they have to build the tallest possible straw tower in just two hours on a base smaller than an A4-sized sheet of paper. The winning tower culminated at more than three meters. The bulk of the competition consists in detailed interviews with members of the jury. These 18 experienced scientists have read the project description carefully before coming to Helsinki. And during the competition, each project team holds in-depth discussions with five or six different jury members. One of the most important qualities they look for in a project is originality. And in fact, there are a lot here that are in, in, introducing new material they're coming up with new ideas, which actually some of the scientists themselves probably haven't thought of. So it's really exciting from that point of view. So every project here, as, they, as we say, is a winner. They've already won, you know, but it's really good. And we've got to make some very difficult decisions, probably tomorrow. For the young scientists, the jury interviews are also a chance to receive positive criticism and encouragement and to refine their ideas can be problematic as connected by a rope and so the first goes up but have to so much it kind of because it's gonna be both but it is yes for the other way this is really special juries have had a critical uh, perspective but uh, I hope I was able to give them certain answers that uh, make them made them happy so <laughs> and there is even more on the program after all the hard work during the day UCIS has more science activities in store in the evening the highlights include for example a spectacular fire show at Heureka one of the leading science centers in Europe
After the show, the young scientists are free to browse the Science Center's exhibits for some hands-on fun and learning. On another night, UCIS takes its contestants to the design factory at Aalto University. Working in small teams, our young scientists build prototypes of designs that could solve the biggest challenges of our times. For instance, two groups have come up with a solution to provide a cheap supply of clean water. It's uh, starting to be a well, and uh, over here, could you show me? Yeah, we're going to have a bucket, and uh, in between there is the moss, uh, you can see it there. Could you hand it here? Yeah. Um, in which in which there is like two levels, and then there's moss. And if if the bucket with the water comes out of the well, then um, the water goes through the moss and uh, it becomes uh, pure. Uh, we have some water here. This is going to be. And also on the top there's going to be a solar panel that. Uh, uh, creates the electricity. The aim of this activity is to work with new teammates and to think outside the box in order to find simple solutions to complex problems. It's a big floating devices in the sea that will um, collect seawater and uh, using solar panels which they're covered with they will evaporate the seawater and um, with, uh, pump them, uh, pump the, sea water, the distilled seawater to the mainland. Back at the UC's powerhouse, let's discover some of the projects in competition. The Irish contestant Alexander Amini is an avid tennis player. He has invented a software that analyzes tennis strokes and gives detailed feedback to athletes so that they can improve their performance. Right now my, my algorithm is uh, monitoring the inertial data from the sensor and until I hit a stroke it will uh, once I hit the stroke, it will detect the stroke and then try and process each of the possible stroke types that could have possibly been hit. Once the stroke is uh, processed, it's processed by, it's, it's provided back to the athlete by feedback and also uh, precise and unbiased feedback is provided based on small deviations that were performed and that could be used to improve the stroke for the next time that was hit. Federica Villa and her teammates are amateur astronomers from Italy and they came up with a solution to make theory more practical and accessible. Our project is an astronomy project and uh, is about estimating the mass of Jupiter. The students of all, uh, all 15 years old maybe could go on the internet and only by using a camera, a digital camera, they can catch pictures of Jupiter of, or uh, other planets with satellites. And uh, by determining distances between Jupiter and satellites, uh, they're able to put some easy input in our program. We are charging it on the side and uh, to determine their own mass. So it's quite easy. Yeah. Bias Tyler comes from Switzerland and has a passion for rock climbing. One day, he had a climbing accident and something clicked in his mind. He invented a new carbon fiber device to improve the safety of climbers. My invention is related to it. It describes a whole product development of, I think, a groundbreaking climbing device for protrusive structures and gaps. So it's really the first device in the world which can cover the whole range of structures in traditional climbing. The jury votes are finally in. The coveted prizes will crown months or even years of hard work and will help the winners to pursue their passion. The highly anticipated award ceremony takes place in the prestigious Festival Hall of the University of Helsinki. Unfortunately, we do not have as many prizes as we would like to. As in, in our view, all the projects deserve a prize. A special acknowledgement to those of you 
whose projects were not selected for a prize this year. Please do not give, give up science. UCIS awards not only 10 main prizes, but also 25 special donated prizes in partnership with the most prestigious science organizations in Europe. Continue. It's like in science. Uh, very excited. Well, I think I'm gonna invest it into later science to me, and to it, maybe it's for university or the other things. Oh, quite excited. Uh, it was very unexpected because we thought that there were so very uh, beautiful project, and we weren't thinking about winning, so we were very happy. And Nothing is impossible, but this I thought is impossible. This 23rd edition of the European Union Contest for Young Scientists is now over, but the science adventure continues. See you next year in Bratislava. <laughs> <laughs>